السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا أما بعد زكم الله خير ما يدير سبك برضه سيسترز فور توديك أنا ما الله سبحانه وتعالى رواد يو فور كامينج إن إن تراين تو لان مور أبوت يور دين برضه سيسترز تداي is an important topic for the Muslims and the non-Muslims in which that we can be talking about بإذنه تعالى how to prove that the Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not the word of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So one of the things that we need to talk about as Muslims, the thing is we are, يعني, as Muslims, we are extremely evidence-based. We don't uh, say things because they are. Every word that we speak, every letter that we utter, everything that we say is based on the Quran and the Sunnah and based on evidences. So the question here, brothers and sisters, is that if someone come to me and tell me that, يعني, what is, how can I prove the Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rather than something that it was invented by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is one this is an important talk for you to share with them with Allah ta'ala so you can at least inshallah be more confident of, of your um of your deen with Allah ta'ala. So let us let us brothers and sisters now start to, to, to talk about this with Allah ta'ala. Okay. And here with Allah ta'ala we're going to be mentioning some few things that shows that the Quran is the what is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one of the things so how one, one of the things that we need to talk about initially is we have to define the Quran by itself. Like what, what does the Quran say about itself? You know? So first of all, as we know, as we know, the Quran, brothers and sisters, is indeed uh, يعني, is the, the Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala del- delivered يعني, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Angel Jibreel, you know, and he delivered it to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know. There are several places in the Quran, and this is very interesting, that يعني, if Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was the inventor of the Quran, it would, it would it would been clear. But rather, when we read the Quran and we يعني, and we 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 go through its pages, we see many many indications, Subhanallah, that say, says otherwise that the, that يعني, that the author of this book is not Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know, like for instance, when Allah subhanahu wa taala said, you know. وَإِذْ لَمْ تَأْتِهِمْ بِيَأَةٍ قَالُوا لَوْ لَشْتَبَيْتَهَا قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَتَّبِعُ مَا يُحَى إِلَيْهِ مِنْ رَبِّي That Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said that I am just a follower. I'm just a follower of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells me. Yeah, imagine brothers and sisters that someone write a book and says, I'm just a follower of, 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 of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells me. So that shows that Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is not the writer. He's just a follower. He's say, in the Quran it says though, he's just a follower of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, in, 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 Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said you know, so the Quran kafala tansa. We would recite it to you, so don't forget. You know, we would recite it to you, so you would not forget. So again, that shows that that that, يعني, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is telling His Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that you know that it's it's uh, you know recited. Don't forget when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said لا تحرك به لسانك لتعجل به. Oh Muhammad, don't move your tongue quickly. So 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 you would memorize it quickly and you, and, and and for the fear of forgetting forgetting it. Subhanallah. If someone was a fa- was 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 the author of this book, would he show his faults of in a tr- of, of possibly forgetting the book? When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Iqra bismi Rabbika al-ladhi khalaq," or read, O Muhammad. Again, all of these things it shows that the author of this book is not was not Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, brothers and sisters. When when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells tell Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, read. When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, don't forget. When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is commanding him. That, that, that يعني, to 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 follow all these things indicate that the Quran is not is not that is something that is made by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Another thing that يعني, subhanallah another another important aspect, yeah, it is surprising. Well, it's surprising, brothers and sisters, that that some people still يعني, uh, 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 say that 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 يعني, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the author. So let me give you let me give you some some examples. See, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, affirms that the Quran is not from him many times, like like some of the ayahs that I mentioned. And the strongest evidence from the Quran and the Quran is the fact that the, the word of Allah subhanahu wa taala. You know, when Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "This is the word of Allah," this is the word of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Yeah, it's not the word of anyone else. You know, you know, uh, uh, if. And, and the question here, brothers and sisters, is uh, for someone to think about is when a person claims over, uh, uh, ownership over something and he challenges the people of, of its wonder and miracles, you know, to support, to support, and to support his ownership, he, and it, what the benefit he would have by not attributing, it, by, by not attributing such thing to himself, you know, because yeah, I think if, if someone, subhanAllah, he, he's a fake prophet, he would want to attribute good things to himself. 
He want to be famous. He want to be. He want to be. Uh, 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 he want to have more prestige. He want to have a higher rank. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, with all the miracles that we see in the Quran and it's in in its, in its eloquency, in, in in its in its order, in its scientific and non scientific miracles. You know, we don't see Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam trying to take take advantage of this situation and say this is this is my word. No. Yeah, anyone would say. And people sometimes, brothers and sisters, would, would plagiarize. They would steal other books from other people and they would attribute it to himself. But what would someone, I, I imagine this brother, what would someone steal? Because some, some of the people say, you know, and that's, this is very common, especially among some, some Jews and Christians, they say he stole from the, from the previous books. Okay, fine. If let's say Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa stole from, from the previous books, why would he not attribute it to himself? Yeah, and if I stole something, anyway, any any common writer, I would steal this book or paragraphs in the book, and then I would not enter, attribute it to myself. It's 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 insane. It's it's illogical for someone to steal something and not attribute it to himself. And that's and that's, and that's subhanallah. So the, the Quran obviously was not taken from any other books, and even if it was, he, he, he would have have attributed to himself. But that's the, the case of the Quran. Subhanallah, that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did not attribute to himself, you know? Yeah, and, and that's something that we see. And you see many writers who would rob antiques and steal other other ideas. Why? And, and But the ultimate goal of why would they do so is, 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 is simple. Because they want to be more famous. They want to have more followers. They, have, they, want, they want to show off their achievements and etc. You know, so with that being said, and, and subhanallah, subhanallah, this is something that you, you would not see in the Quran. Whatsoever, يعني, when Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, يعني, he says, يعني, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Alhamdulillah, الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجة. A Quran that does have, have no crookedness, perfect, you know. And then if if, if, if the Quran is such a perfect thing, would, would not I want to be, you know, uh, uh, attribute this perfectness to myself? Of course I would. But Prophet he didn't. He said, this what? This is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and etc. You see, so that's the, the very first thing, the very first evidence that we need to think about is that, that the Quran was never is attributed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam consistently, in, in the Quran, consistently you see that this, this the Quran was attributed to whom? To Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Okay, so now let's go on to the, the, the next thing is what, you know, what are some of the evidences, what are some of the evidences that shows that the, the truth is of the Quran, yeah, clear evidences that shows that the Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. So first, the assumption, yeah, some people assume the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a liar. Okay. So if he's a liar, you know, what would what would he achieve by not making himself famous? Nothing, you know. But some people say, well, he's a he was a reformist. Okay. He was not at he Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was not trying to be. Uh, reach, reaching the goal of a reformist because uh, someone who's a reformist, like someone who wants just he wants, you know, like for instance, Martin Luther King, he wants to be pe people better, he wants to change his pe people, people perception and these things. But yeah, and he, he, pe all reformists they, they, they would compromise on certain things, they would, yeah, they, they would want uh, 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 to improve public opinions of them, but Ram Sassan didn't care at many moments. Because he went, he know that he said, "I am a messenger, and I'm just a deliverer." I'm in, I'm, 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 you know, and 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 he did not. His ultimate goal is to make people better, but he didn't. Th th that was not his goal. His not goal is to be a reformist. So that's that's the, the number. Some of the things that we need to think about. Also, yeah, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is something that yeah, almost the, even the non-Muslims would witness to. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had, had yeah, there's no man in this world. That you will see his 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 autobiography be be so, be so detailed more than Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We know everything about Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we know his actions, we know his 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 words, we know his expressions, we know his wives, we know we know how 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 he dealt with people. So with all of these things, we have not we have seen someone who is who who is honest, someone who is not a liar. You know, yani. He was further. He was. He was farthest from people from the from the deceptions. You know, he was accurate. He was honest. Yani, a man was full of of qualities. 
No, no one have said negative things about him. His companions loved him and elevated him, and they were, they, they competed to 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 be around him. You know, so that with that being said, brothers and sisters, يعني, you know, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, يعني, uh, uh, when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran, قل لو شاء الله ما تلوته عليكم ولا أدراكم به فقد لبست فيكم عمرا من قبله أفلا تعقلون. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said. Say, uh, say Muhammad, you know, if it wasn't for the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we, we would not have recited the, this Quran to you, nor you would know about it. That I have spent, you know, times within you, I, I spent my whole life, you know, with you, among you, for and yeah, before this revelation. So so don't you understand? So Prophet, he was out with his people. People knew him, you know. And if it wasn't for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as, as, as this verse has have said, have mentioned, as far as in Surah Yunus, you know, you, Allah, you would not know about the Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling this to the people, you know, to show that the Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not the word of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know. So and that's another aspect that we need to think about. Now, let's go into a little bit more details bin the ta'ala. Now, what are some of the evidences of Tarba's sincerity and honesty to, to claim of the, 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 the revelation? Number one, yeah, what, now, now we're going into more specific now here. What are some of the evidences that show the Prophet was honest? He was he, he was not making things up. Number one evidence. Okay, and now we're going into the evidences that shows that the Quran is not the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Before we were making arguments. Now let's talk about evidence number one. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam needs for revelation. And it's delay in its delay. So sometimes Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was in need of revelations. Yeah, and he, he, it's not like, a, you know, if someone is making stuff up, okay, you know, if someone was making stuff up, he would not wait for revelations. Yeah, and, you know, if, in, in, and, and many moments, Prophet Sallallahu told the people, I have no revelations, you have to wait. You know, for, like for instance, when the Jews came to Prophet Sallallahu and asked him about, you know, questions, asked him three questions, he did not, he told them to wait until I get revelation. But in the contrary, if someone is making stuff up, he said, yeah, I, I got revelation immediately, you see? So so that, that proves you know, you know, that in many occasions, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had to wait days, sometimes even months, until he, he would get a revelation from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And that shows that number one evidence, the fact that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had to wait for revelations. Otherwise, if he was the author, he would have... He would say, he would say, he would say the, 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 the verses immediately. So, and one of the best example, best example is what happened to what we call Hadithat al-Ifq. Hadithat al-Ifq. So let's go through this, yani, one box at the time, okay? So what happened here in Hadithat al-Ifq, okay? What happened? So there was rumors among the hypocrites that circulated that the mother, that his, that the wife Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, she was she, that she have uh, she was with other guys. So okay, so people made a claim that uh, uh, Aisha radiallahu anha she went out with يعني, with other guys. Okay, so what happened? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he did not he, he did not come up with a, with the revelations. No, he he investigated, he questioned, he counseled his friends, and in, an entire month have passed. And, and 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 people would ask him he's like we never heard any any any. And, and people and, and people said we never heard any harm from her. But Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would. He did not say, oh, I got revelations. No. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he asked Aisha, you know. You know, he told he, he Aisha, I've been told such and such. If you are innocent, Allah Allah will prove, prove your innocence. He, he came to her, he told, oh Aisha, you know. Allah, if, if you're innocent, Allah, Allah Subhanahu you know, if someone is biased, who's like, oh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala have made you innocent immediately. But no, he, he, was, he was telling her that you know, I have to wait. He was he told her, if you have committed a sin, then ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. SubhanAllah. And then what happened is after a while, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed Surah to Nur to reveal to, re, to, re, to, re, to reveal the, the, the innocence and the purity of Aisha radiallahu anha. Okay. So what so 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 what would have prevented him? What yeah, the question here, brothers and sisters, what have prevented Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa if the Quran was indeed his word to, to, to come up with something like this, to stop these rumors, you know? He had, he had, يعني, Prophet Hassan said he had, he had the message, and he, he would have made up, made up stuff on the spot, you know. 
and Anas of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said in the Quran, "Yen, walau taqawla alayna baad al aqawil, la akhzna minhu bil yamin, thumma la qatagna minhu al watin." If Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we would have, if if he would made anything up, if Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would have made anything up, we Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said we would have we would we would have, يعني, uh, 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 sized them by, by his right hand, and we have severed his aorta, يعني, we would have killed them. You see. So, so why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why would a man mention so, so, such thing in the Quran? That, that is literally talking about him, himself. That if he played around with the Quran, he would have been punished. And that's, and that's what the Quran says. The Quran says that if Prophet played around with the Quran, he would have been punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if, if, this, if the Quran was the word, word of, 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 of Muhammad, why would he have mentioned such thing? You see? And this is important, brothers and sisters. This is indeed important for us to think about Okay, so that's some of the things that that's yeah. So that's the, the, the number one number one. Uh, uh, what, what happened? Hadith is is indeed a best example to show that what the Quran is is, is the word of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, not the word of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Number two is the significance of the verses that talk, that talks about that talks about how Allah Subhanahu wa Taala يعني, uh, questioned. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam over certain occasions or you know choices that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have made that were not correct. Let me give you some examples here. Okay, let me give you some examples here. Like for instance, okay, let's let, let's go through some examples that that when Allah subhanahu wa taala, Allah subhanahu wa taala questioned Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, oh, yeah, when Allah subhanahu wa taala said, yeah, uh, questioned Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Ya yohin nabi, lima tu harimu ma ahal Allahu lak. Oh Prophet, why do you prohibit yourself from things that Allah subhanahu wa taala have made lawful? Now, يعني, Prophet ﷺ said that honey, at one point he, 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 he said he made honey haram into his wife. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, no, don't say, don't do that, don't do that. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, عَفَ اللَّهُ عَنْكَ لِبَا أَذِنْتَ لَهُمْ May Allah, يعني, uh, while consider, يعني, uh, another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, um, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّبِي وَتُخْفِي مَنْ فِي نَفْسِكَ مَا اللَّهُ مُبْدِيهِ Why do you hide things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to, to reveal? Like when Prophet ﷺ wanted to 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 marry the, the the wife of Zayd, okay, you know Allah Subhanahu wa Taala had disclosed that when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Yeah, عَفَ اللَّهُ عَنْكَ لِمَا أَذِنْتَ لَهُمْ." Oh, 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 Prophet Muhammad, why you have why you have uh, 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 forgiven them? You have done you have you have not done this correctly. When Prophet when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala have questioned Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the issue of dealing with the prisoners' wars, that Prophet Muhammad he did not deal with them. He did not judge correctly. When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, uh, he, he, he talked to him about the blind man. And there's a whole surah that talks about how Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam dealt with a blind man. Abasa wa tawalla and jahu al-a'ma. Wa ma yudrika la'allahu yazzakka. All of this, brothers and sisters, showed that the, there are clear, clear places in the Quran that shows that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala is, is questioning Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about certain things. So if, I am, if Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the author of the book, he would have hide these things. He would not expose himself things that he have done uh, 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 done, done uh, possibly wrong. You see, so that shows that indeed the Quran is what the word of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It's not the word of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. Number three, brothers and sisters. Number three is that the messenger of Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yani he. Um, he posed in explaining the Quran as indication of the source. Like for this, uh, the, and, and this is something yani, important that sometimes Prophet Muhammad would reveal things that and, and, and in complicated forms that nor himself can understand, yani, fully understand, nor his his his, his disciples and yani, his companions. Because sometimes these things are not for them to, to be to be understood at their time. They, they, they would understand later, you know. Well, and 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 sometimes things that the that that, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not, yeah, يعني, like even the companions they will argue with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam why you have done so, but Allah but and, and the companions did not understand it, the wisdom behind it, but later on they did, you know, so yeah, يعني, so so if, يعني, why would someone put himself in a in a in a in a in a bad situation for people to question him and say what are you doing? The Prophet said, Allah, sometimes there are some verses in the Quran. The Prophet ﷺ did not know, know, he did not know the, the, the wisdom behind it. No, the companions know the wisdom behind it, but Prophet ﷺ delivered it. 
because he was a prophet and he was just a messenger. He he he, he relayed to information to Allah Subhanahu from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And the best example, the best example. Let me show you guys the best example, is what happened when, what happened in Sulh al Hudaybiyah. Okay, so let, let, let's go this with this example bit then ta'ala one by one. So let me show you here, brothers and sisters. Okay, so what happened in Sulh al Hudaybiyah? What happened in Sulh al Hudaybiyah? Okay, is the following. So Sulh al hudaybi is the when the, when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam have made treaty with the people of Quraysh, you know. So so uh, the, so Allah subhanahu wa taala, got, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa taala permitted the, the, the believers, okay, to to wear wear, wear their ihram and go towards Mecca for the for the, for the, for, the, for, the, for possible Umrah, okay. And the, and 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 when, once they were close, the, the the people of Quraysh heard about this and they gathered themselves, okay. And and even though Quraysh at this point Quraysh was, yani, had you know, they, they, they were weak, you know, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made a treaty with them, and he compromised with them, you know, and the Sahaba were against that, they tried to, and told them why, oh Prophet of Allah, we are strong, you, you know, why are we letting go, you know, they are the weak, you know, you know why are you compromising, you know, and if you, people look look at what happened in Sulh al-Hudaybiyah, you would see that you know, the, the Muslims were not an advantage, and the Quraysh, and yeah, took the opportunity, okay, took the opportunity and put and, and put some harsh terms that the Muslims had to follow through th through with it. But Prophet Muhammad agreed to those terms, even though Quraysh was weak. And Prophet Muhammad ordered the companions to go back to Mecca, even though they intended to, to go to Mecca to, to go to to, to to go to Mecca to make Umrah, a mini pilgrimage. And Muslim, the Muslims were irritated and they were angry, you know. And Prophet Muhammad reminded them, he said, I am the messenger of Allah. I, I mean, you know. So, so they returned back, but he, but when, and and the Surah Al-Fatih was revealed to them. Surah Al-Fatih was 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 revealed to them, and Allah, Allah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said in, 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 the, in the Surah where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Who will they cover idea from them? Who will they cover idea from them? What idea from them? By putting Mecca from behind, I'll throw them on them." He is the one who have you know, held back the, your hands and their hands from fighting after you had the upper hand. But what happened? Sulh al Hudaybiyah, at the time the Muslims did not know the wisdom, they did not know the meaning behind this. But what happened? Sulh al Hudaybiyah, the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, was a reason for the spread of Islam to the rest of the peninsula. And later on, they were open and con to, to open Mecca. No one knew the wisdom behind that. But who did? Prophet Muhammad, who did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And he, and he told them this in, 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 in the Quran. Uh, 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 Subhanallah. So, th so this is brothers and sisters. Yani, yani, uh, uh, so number three is sometimes that yani, the Sahaba did not understand the wisdom behind some of the verses of the Quran, but e even though Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam delivered it. Fourth is fourth reason is that when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam read the Quran, you know, and and uh, 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 he he revealed the Quran with 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 evidence of its authenticity. What does that mean? Okay. In the beginning, when the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he tried to memorize it. يعني, and, and it says that in the Quran, you know, in لا تحرك به لجان لسانك لتعجل به. Don't move your tongue quickly so you could memorize it. You know, Allah subhanahu wa taala said, لا تعجل ولا تعجل بالقرآن من قبل أن يقضى إليك وحيه. Don't يعني try try to rush with the Quran. You know, so if someone is 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 uh, is the author of the book, would he show that he tried to memorize the book? Would he try to try to rush through it? No, he, I'm, the, I'm I'm the author. I'm, I know the book already. But Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he 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 kept, he kept repeating it. You know, and he 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 tried to yeah, and he he tried to memorize it. And he tried to to make sure that he know he knows it word by word. What what would someone memorize the yeah, make up his own book and and say in the book? Do not rush your tongue. Trying to memorize it. Exalted is Allah, the true king. Do not rush to recite the revelation of the Quran. It wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. Would not make any sense whatsoever. So, inshallah, brothers and sisters, yani here, here we talked about four simple yani, evidences that shows that the Quran is, is not the word of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi but rather the word of Allah. Subhanahu alayhi wa Number four is that the Prophet Muhammad says he showed us evidence of his authenticity in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi tried to memorize it, tried to, to tried to preserve it. And, and 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 this shows that he was not he was not the author. Okay, number three. Okay, is the fact that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, 
you know, to, uh, to reveal to him uh, some, some, some parts of the Quran that he did not know the wisdom, know the companions, know the wisdom beyond it. But Prophet ﷺ delivered it. You know, why would someone reveal something that he does not, not know the, the, the wisdom behind it? That's number number num, number three. Number two, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know, there are many places in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa taala, you know, he 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 uh, 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 showed that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not act appropriately. How the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam dealt with with uh, um, with the blind man. How Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam dealt with the prisoners of war. How Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam have forgiven certain people. You know, well, Allah subhanahu wa taala, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have have forbidden. Things that he should have had done so. All of that is mentioned in the Quran. Okay, number one, and that's the, the very first uh, uh, reason is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam waited, waited, uh, uh, and paused certain periods without uh, a revelation because he was waiting for revelation. So, with that being said, يعني, I hope this is inshallah with Allah Taala a ways for us to to prove. That the Quran, brothers and sisters, is not is not يعني, the word of 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 of, of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but rather the word of, of of Allah subhanahu wa taala. I hope that يعني, this is this 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 is uh, uh, clear, and and I hope that Allah subhanahu wa taala have you have benefited from this. يعني, and inshallah, if you have if you learned anything, please share it so maybe we'll, more people will know about it. Zakum Allah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.